Hey guys, this is YoMG. We've got a quick Logic Pro X tutorial, so we're going to get right to it. I know it just came out and everyone's a little bit confused. We're going to be talking about flex time and flex pitch and kind of how to conquer Melodyne and Autotune within Logic Pro X. Pretty sweet. So first of all, um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the track here. And if you have a key command set for uh, flex time, it also applies for flex pitch too. So where your track is selected, um, you can click on your thing and it's going to toggle the view. This little icon right here, we're going to click on that. It's going to turn purple and it's going to show you the view. If you click on it and it doesn't give you the view right away, uh, it might happen. Uh, so you want to make sure that the flex box under the region is checked. This is kind of similar to before, but now the pitch is locked with it. When you double click the region, it's going to pull up your sample editor and it's going to default to bringing up the file, the sample editor from the file, which is as it was before in Logic 9, where you could destructively edit the file uh, directly there and you had all the tools to do so. Well now it also gives us a track option which lets us view the track as a sample editor. Uh, you want to be careful that if you do if you double click it and open file and then you click on track you may get a crash. Uh, I got several crashes here so I got it open up for you so you can see it kind of a workaround. If you use a key command uh, to go directly to the track option it's not going to happen so that's a suggestion until they uh, fix it if you're listening, Apple. So uh, now that we've got this view, uh, we can bring this up just like we could before. We can expand it. And when we're down here in our editor, we want to make sure this view is on. This is also going to give us our, uh, our view. Now, if we have one of the flex time things before, uh, options from before, um, they now have an automatic function. But when you do this, this is going to come up and say, do you want to suspend all flex pitch? Uh, basically, they're telling us we need to render this or do this in separate passes. So we're going to click do not show this again because thank you for the warning. So now it shows us our typical flex thing like we had before. And we can click and move these just like we had. But we see a little bit of a view here of the pitch. So now we're going to click over to flex pitch and it's going to show us this view kind of similar to Melodyne if anyone is familiar with using that. We're going to solo this track and it's going to play as Keep is. Waiting for the world to end. Uh, I've been kind of messing with the pitch here um, and what happens is by default you can click on any of these notes and it basically gives you a note choice to use. Uh, you can click on this note and you can expand it with the bracket bar this way just like expanding your time like the flex time. Uh, if we zoom in a little bit within the pitch we also get three dots. Um, if we go to the pitch fine tune We can fine tune it by sense. Uh, if we go to the last box, we get pitch drift, which basically shows the pitch as it dri drifts to the end. And you can kind of go crazy with that. And then there's pitch drift in the beginning. And that's also draggable, and that's the entrance pitch. And then, if, of course, if you drag the whole thing, it'll move to different semitones. Uh, so you can move it to wherever you want. You can also still extend it and move and it's going to grab uh, whatever you have selected. The other thing that's really cool is if you want to use like let's say the generic auto-tune or tuning kind of function, what you're going to do is you're going to zoom out and you're going to select an entire passage or really whatever you want. So we're going to use the selection tool and we're going to grab all of these pieces right here. Uh, when we, we're going to want to right click on one piece. Again, if you don't see it right away, realize that they've built in this uh, smart factor. So you have to zoom in and make sure you can see the dots. Then you can right click and all that are highlighted, you're going to say either set to original pitch, set to perfect pitch or reset pitch curve. We can reset to perfect pitch and you can see that whatever we have highlighted, it will reset that to our perfect pitch. Uh, of course we can go through here and we can select all of the notes at one time if we want. 
So once they turn this yellow color, we got the notes. You can also use the shift or the apple key um, to click on additional notes. And then you can right click and again, you can set them. Um, the other options that you have is uh, if you zoom this <clears throat> in big enough, what you can do is you can go to your view and you're gonna show your local inspector. And that's gonna show you a few more options. Uh, you have the time quantize here, which is gonna quantize audio and you have the settings here. And if you have quantization templates, they're also gonna show up just as that with Auto-Tune or Melodyne, you now have Scale Quantize. So if you pick this, it's going to default to Off. You can choose a scale. And then you can choose Major, Natural Minor, Chromatic, Major Minor, all kinds of crazy stuff that you may or may not want. Um, you're going to click on this note and this is going to quantize it. So again, you're going to select what you want. You've got this little um, pitch correction knob, which is kind of similar to the auto-tune uh, uh, attack speed, but it's more of a general uh, setting. 100% uh, quantizes at 100%, zero quantizes it, not at all. And this sets the scale. So you can go and grab each note and change it to a different scale if you want. You can select the whole pattern, whole passage, multiple regions. <clears throat> and you can set them all to the same scale. Uh, it's going to show you this uh, keyboard on the left. And if you use your typical zoom in and zoom out keyboard functions, it's going to zoom in or out the notes, but not the region itself, which is kind of diff difficult to get used to. Uh, what they replace that with is this little bar over here, waveform zoom. You click on that, it's going to give you like a full zoom. It's just one option. And then of course you've got your <clears throat> your sliders over here, which do the same thing as your, your key commands. So <clears throat> basically you have to make sure that your, your flex is on and you can select it for multiple tracks. You can not only see it in this editor, but you can also see it in the main window as now, which was, was the arrange window. So uh, make sure that you have these things checked and you can dive right in and don't worry about auto-tune not being supported in 64-bit, although it's just come out if you haven't purchased it yet. If you haven't purchased Melodyne, you might want to save your bucks, drive over to the App Store, and uh, grab yourself a copy of Logic Pro 10. It's got it all built in. See you later.